The note that you elicit okay, is, is just a name that percussion over the chest is resonant. Okay, the chest is resonant because it contains air filled lung. Okay. So normal percussion over the chest is that it is resonant. The normal area of cardiac dullness is on the left okay, and hepatic dullness is on the right. Okay. Normally it should be done. Okay. That is normal percussion. Now what is, where is the dullness, cardiac dullness, you know the extent of cardiac dullness? Cardiac dullness starts from left third intercostal space. You should be able to pick up the intercostal spaces. So, cardiac dullness starts from the left third intercostal space and has a lateral extension. It extends up to the apex, apex beat, wherever is the apex. And the right border of cardiac dullness is retrosternal. Okay. So, that you should be able to delineate. How you delineate. Now, talking about the chest, and on the right side is the hepatic dullness. The hepatic dullness starts from fifth intercostal space on the right, okay, in the midline. Okay, so it should be dull. That has to be. If it is not dull, something is wrong. Now, when you are focusing the chest, so what are the notes you will elicit? Normally, it should be resonant. So, what do you think could be abnormalities of percussion? Oh. Dull. So, more, uh, not resonant, okay. less resonant. Now, there are various grades of being less resonant. So, that is one abnormal. What is the other? No. That is all dullness. That means it's not resonant enough. It could be more resonant than normal. High percentage. High percentage. Okay. That. So, that you have to be able to pick up. Now, how you know how not normally, how resonant is the chest? This is clinical medicine. You have been to wards, you have focused so many times. You know what is a normal note elicited while you focus the chest. But if your judgment is that it is more resonant than this much, that's called hyper resonant. Okay. Why is the lung resonant? It's called the lung. Yes, air, therefore it is resonant. So when do you think the lung will become hyper resonant when you focus? Because so there is more air. More air in the lung, so you have to think of pathologies where there is more air that will cause more done, more resonance, hyper resonance. So, hyper resonance is just a name. When you say the chest is hyper resonant in the percussion, then the implication is the patient is having a disorder where there is more air in the lungs. So tell me, more air. Hmm? Okay, pneumothorax. Pneumothorax would be one side. So unilaterally, if you get this finding of hyper resonance, yes, pneumothorax. Bilateral. Both sides. In pneumothorax, where is the air? Oh, you'll get it right. You'll get it right. Don't worry. Do <laughs> what your job at hand. <laughs> it, it's between the lung, actually the lung. Where is pneumothorax? Where is the air? To the yeah, two layers of the pleura. Yeah. Okay, this is a dead. It is a potential space. There is actually no space. So if air enters into that, that's called pneumothorax. Okay. Now, normally when there is air in the lung? In the in the lung fragment itself. Parenchyma. Okay. Yeah. Alveoli. Parenchyma. So there could be more air there. So what is the disorder called? Emphysema. Yeah. Yes. So hyper resonant percussion node would be emphysema. And pneumothorax. <coughs> pneumothorax usually would be unilateral. Whereas emphysema, bilateral. Okay. And as I told you, there should be normal area of cardiac dullness on the left okay, and hepatic dullness on the right. So in which condition these areas of dullness will be obliterated? In they, these areas will be hyper resonant or resonant instead of being dull. See? Emphysema, bilateral disease. If there is a left sided pneumothorax, cardiac dullness will be absent. Okay? So that. Okay? So hyper resonant, when you say percussion node is hyper resonant, that means either there is pneumothorax. Easy to die. There is another note of being more resonant. It's called tympanic. It's just a name, tympanic. When you say tympanic, the note that you will elicit when you focus over the abdomen. So when you say tympanic when you are focusing over hollow viscera, gastric viscera. So that would sometimes rarely occur in the chest. But the chest doesn't have hollow viscera in this time. Yes, when you say you are 
you know this impending, we are committing that you are progressing over a hollow visceral. So, hollow visceral intestine will come into the chest, into the thorax. What did you say? Diaphragmatic hernia. Yes. Eventration of the diaphragm. The diaphragm muscle is weak. Hiatus hernia. Sometimes in the sliding hernia it may enter into the thorax. So that. When you progress lower left chest, it will be impanic. Because of lower chest being impanic, what is that? Heart. Heart is not impanic. Heart is oh, solid. Sorry, you are focusing over a hollow visceral. Yeah, then you're, you have some of the gastric. Yeah. It is normally impanic. Left lower chest. Because of the fundus of the stomach. Yeah. The diaphragm is like this. If when you focus, it is over, you are focusing over the fundus of the diaphragm. So, got it? So, two reasons, two, three reasons for increased resonance. Hyper resonant, you know, impanic, you know. Then the other condition would be when it is not as resonant, it is less resonant than normal. That's what we think is abnormality or proportion. So that has been graded. You may get various grades of alteration. Normally, what is the proportion of? Not impanic. Over the chest, resonant. resonant. So, less resonant. We call it impaired resonance. You can give a word to that, name to that. Impaired resonance. Hyper-resonance. Sir? Yes? Hyper-resonance? No. Impaired resonance. Resonance has got impaired, it's become dull. So, impaired resonance will occur in, when you are saying, it will occur in conditions like pulmonary fibrosis or pleural thickening. In this condition, there is a mild decrease in the percussion node, okay, in the resonance. That is called impaired resonance. More than that. Uh, I mean, dull. consolidation. Yeah, dull. dull. Yeah. Okay, you say, percussion node is dull. So dull percussion node, what do you commit? Consolidation. Consolidation, yes. If the lung is consolidation, the percussion node that is elicited is dull. More than that? Uh, Atalactosis. No. More dull than that? Stony dull. Stony dull. Okay. Stone, like dull like stone. Mm. Actually, the percussion note that is elicited, you percuss over your thigh. You percuss over your thigh. This note is stony dull percussion. This would occur in? Yes, plural effusion. So that's it. Really, to, you have to, when you are doing clinical examination and you pick up, you say, the percussion note is impaired, the resonance is impaired. That means you are implying that you have these options only. That there is plural thickening or it is fibrous lung. If you say stony dull percussion note, then you have to explain that there is fluid there. Plural fluid. Right? Consolidation. A consolidation occurs in, is a pathology, occurs in which disease? Pneumonia. Pneumonia. Okay, the lung is consolidation. Solid. Solid should have been more dull than liquid. Hmm. Why is it only dull? There is liquid, plural effusion, stony dull. See, pneumonia's consolidation is localized, is lower pneumonia, so maximum will low can get consolidated. The surrounding lung is still aerated. Okay. So when you focus, that effect is still there. Okay, this is because of the surrounding air filled lung that is just dull. Whereas in plural effusion, why it is stony, more dull? Because when there is plural effusion, the underlying lung collapses. There is no lung there, it is only fluid. So the degree of dullness is more. Okay. That's, okay. So that's the usual thing you should interpret. But there are other signs, in nice clinical signs on percussion. Okay. Like I told you, okay. chronic isthmus, K R O N I G, chronic. Apostrophe is chronic isthmus. It's a band of resonance here which conjects anterior resonance with posterior. So, this would be dull in apical lesions. The other thing is something called known as tidal percussion. You know what is tidal percussion? So, when you percuss on the right side of the chest, in the mid lateral line, the chest would be resonant. 
till where? Till the fifth intercostal space. You will encounter the hepatic dialysis in the fifth. The dome of diaphragm is like that, the liver inside. So the fifth intercostal space should be done normally. Now in this situation we are getting dullness. Ask the patient to take a deep breath and then focus. So the diaphragm goes down during deep inspiration, the liver goes down with it and the area of dullness will also go down. You have normally one intercostal space. Okay. So this is tidal percussion. You should test. It's a good clinical sign. Okay. But then it is a sign to pick up what? that the diaphragm is moving. Okay. So tidal percussion thing and then should be absent in which condition? Um, should be absent if you have some impairment of the phrenic nerve? Yes, good. That's a good answer. Okay. Actually it is this. Okay. Tidal percussion would be absent in right hemidiaphragmatic paralysis. Up, this diaphragm is paralyzed. And that would occur in phrenic nerve lesions. That's correct. That's actually made the clinical significance of doing a tidal purpose. People think that it can pick up right-sided lesion, which is not like pleural effusion, right-sided pleural effusion. Wherever you get dullness, again, patient takes a deep breath, the dullness will go shift one space down because the diaphragm is functioning. Tidal progression may be absent if there is some irritating lesion intra-diaphragmatically, sub-diaphragmatic abscess. So because of pain, the patient will not be able to take it. So spuriously it may show. But otherwise, tidal progression is for diaphragmatic paralysis. Okay. So that's it. So this is significant. So that's about progression of the chest. Switch on the camera now.